Hello everybody, this is an update video for my new game that I have been working on. I've been working on this project for like three years, I think, um, and I'm still not done with it, but I, I created something that I want to share with you guys, and uh, I apologize for the noise in the background. That noise that you hear is my computer. Um, I just moved to a new place. And I don't have a desk. I have a, I have a makeshift desk. It's a temporary desk made out of boxes. And my computer is just kind of shoved uh, underneath the boxes um, for now. Anyways, uh, this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is a cave. And if you go inside the cave, you can see this really cool layout. Um, and by layout, I mean the path. Uh, or the the map, I should say. I don't know. Um, but that's not the cool thing. The cool thing is if I exit out of the cave and re-enter, the layout is completely different. And it changes every single time I re-enter the cave. So it's a, uh, a random dungeon generator, I guess. I got the inspiration from Dark Cloud. I don't know if you if you guys have been watching um, my Dark Cloud LP, but there's a cave that you can go inside, and the layout for the cave is always different. And I thought, I wonder if I can do that in RPG Maker 2, so I created this. This is a 5x5 five five grid. Um, this These things right here is a tile, like this. This is a tile. And this is a tile right here, and this is a tile, and they're all connected to each other. Let me uh, show you the uh, the building editor. I have different pieces, different tiles of the of the dungeon. Uh, there's straight pieces that go north and south. And there's a straight piece that goes east and west. And I got different curves here. So this one goes uh, from south to east, or vice versa, east to south. I have, uh, so there's four different curves. There's four different T uh, tiles. And the reason why I call them a T tile is because the path that they create is a T shape. So you can see that this one goes uh, this one goes north, south and east and therefore it is called a uh, cave T N S E north south east there's four different of uh, tiles for the T's and then i have four different tiles for um, dead ends there's a south dead end so this one goes south um so I got four of those. And then lastly, I have an open tile, which is open in all four directions. And the way that I wrote the script is that these tiles should connect. And it, it's really cool because uh, they always connect all the time. There is one bug, however, that I should probably show. Um, don't pay any attention to what, what I'm doing right now. Uh, let me see if I can find this thing. Yeah, this is not a tutorial, so I'm not going to explain any of this. Maybe in another video I will, but I gotta say, this thing is really complicated, so if I do make a tutorial, it'll be a very long video. You can see that there's uh, some tiles missing, like over, over here, uh, on the east side of this tile. There's a tile missing, and there's tile, tiles missing over here as well. And this is a bug that I have not been able to fix. And it's not because... It's not because there's anything wrong with the script that I wrote. 
not necessarily because I I went through the scripts a million times I spent hours going through each and every script every line of of the script and I have concluded that there's nothing wrong with the script it's just that it looks as if RPG Maker 2 is um, not able to process these tiles so if there are too many tiles that appear or trying to appear in, uh, in the dungeon RPG Maker 2 is going to um, struggle trying to generate those tiles so I don't know how to fix that unfortunately but on the upside it seems to work almost all the time I haven't had it bug out or glitch at all not once um, but my point is there is a very 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 small chance that you might get a glitchy uh, dungeon you know where where uh, tiles don't generate I hope that doesn't happen if somebody is doing an LP of my game <laughs> or if I do an LP of this game oh yeah Sometimes you get random uh, chests. I think I already explained that. Um, they don't do anything. But later on, I'm going to make it so that random things happen in the cave. Different treasure appears. Different items appear. Different, maybe, NPCs. Um, quests. Um, and it's all randomized. It's all going to be random. So, let me know what you think in the comments section. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye.